Hey guys, what's up? Popus Dragon here with another deck profile. Today it will be on my Chaos Goddess deck profile. Um, I call this my Fable Goddess deck profile. Um, it's kind of like a uh, um, Fable Dark World deck, but uh, I focus on building out Chaos Goddess just because I really enjoy this card and uh, been working on a build that is somewhat decent that uh, I can pull her out. So, uh, yeah, here we'll get right on into it. Three Lucent, Netherworld of Dark World. Um, this level eater and your one of your Fable Tuners can go right into Chaos Goddess. That's why I run three of him. And you can special summon them very easily in this deck. Three Brow, let's give you some draw power. Whenever you send to the graveyard, well, discard to the graveyard by a card effect, you uh, hit draw a card. Triple Fabled Raven, because. Uh, Let's all your dark worlds go off, and he can gain levels, boost attack, really awesome card. And a light tuner, so good for their, your Chaos Goddess. And three Fable Crews. Um, she's kind of like the monster reborn for crew, uh, for Fables. Uh, you can just discard, well when she's discarded, you can special summon a Fabled from your graveyard. Then two Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer, uh, Chaos Sorcerer is very good in this build just because uh, there's lots of light and darks and uh, he's semi nomi so after you successfully special summon him with his effect you can use Chaos Goddess to pull him back out again. Then two Silvas just because it's decent in here can go into eights easily with it. Uh, two Golds just because I like two Silva and two Golds. Uh, two Fable Grimro. Uh, while well, you control face up fables, you can discard her to search fable from your deck to your hand. So kind of like the searching for fables. Uh, then two fabled cerberals. Uh, when it's discarded, special summoned, just uh, tuner. Two level leaders, because uh, these help you go into your chaos goddess. One BLS, light and darks, gotta run BLS. Uh, one Grapha, got a lot of dark world, so... Uh, Go run at least one of the boss, just he's good for this card, pop something, you can return, have a big beater. Uh, the one snow, it's a good searcher, and uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. <laughs> just one though, because uh, this isn't really a Fable Dark World deck, it's more just Chaos Goddess, as I said, Fable Goddess. But yeah, on the spells, Triple Gates of the Dark World. Just allows you to keep on getting discards and give all your fiends a little bit of a boost. Triple Dark World Dealings. Give a little draw power to the deck and uh, with your brow, it's like a plus one pretty much. Because you discard, get brow's effect, and get that, and yeah. So you're not really nagging yourself as long as you discard brow. Well, even if you discard one of your other guys. All of them get their effects, the Fables, the Dark Worlds, etc. Then I uh, want a Lure of Darkness, let's add a little bit more draw power. One Soul Charge, because it's too good. <laughs> and then for spells, uh, two Fangs of Windblast. Your Dark Worlds will not get their effects with this, but uh, just in case you got some clump in hand, or uh, you can discard a Fabled and they do get their effects, because Fabled's pretty much get their effects no matter how they're discarded. But uh, yeah, two things, one blast gets really good right now, and it works well with the fables. And two D prison, just a little bit of protection, and one karma cut. So that's it for the main deck. And for the extra, we have our two chaos goddesses. Um, I'd like to run more, but uh, she's kind of so-so. <laughs> I just uh, really want to make a deck around this card because I've always enjoyed this card since it came out. So I've been testing a lot with it, like ever since it came out, and this is probably one of my favorite builds for going into her. Uh, if you don't know what she does, let's see if I can zoom in on that, make it easier. Uh, maybe. Yeah, once per turn you can send one light monster from your hand to the graveyard. So like one level 5 or higher dark monster in your graveyard, so that someone that can't be used as synchro. So, uh, yeah, she lets you fill your graveyard with more lights, especially when you're high level darks, which there's a lot in here. And yeah, just really like the artwork on the card, and I think it's a cool card. Then uh, one hot Red Dragon Archfiend, just a nice little board wipe for all attack position monsters. Uh, Crimson Blader, in case you go up against anything that has 
higher level monsters. Uh, Scrap Dragon for popping stuff. That Ruler against Burning Piss, getting some stuff. Uh, Black Rose for that Field Nuke. Ancient Sacred Wyvern, because you can get stacked pretty high and make it very easily in here. One Goyo, because he's like the best six. One Armades. Uh, just good for getting over things, Shadals, um, Yang Zings, etc. Uh, one Caster, just because it's decent against certain decks. Uh, one Fable Unicorn, just because you can't go into fours, and this guy is pretty decent if you and your opponent have the same number of cards in hand. Uh, one M7, since you do run decent amount of sixes, you can go into them. And then two fives in Tyrus and Vocal Source, just because you can go into fives pretty easily. So yeah, there was my Chaos deck with, uh, Chaos Goddess deck profile. Alright, thank you all for watching, see you guys later.